In this video, we're going to take a look at what makes up the FTSE 100 and why it remains so popular with traders and investors alike. Hello, I'm David Jones from Capital.com and this is the latest in our series on popular markets. I thought we'd take a look at the FTSE 100 index, the UK's index, uh, and why it's a popular one with traders and investors, but what actually makes up the FTSE 100 and how can you trade it in different directions. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll take a look, quick look at the market, then we'll look at some facts, then jump back onto the trading platform. So before we get into some of the facts, let's just take a quick look at the market we're talking about. This is the the FTSE 100 going back to 2015. You can see plenty of volatility over all sorts of time frames. It's traded as high as 7,900 in May 2018, and then in the same year had slipped back to six and a half thousand and has bounced back since. So this is the market we're going to explore. So what is the FTSE 100? And why is it so popular with investors and traders? It's the UK's blue chip stock market index. So blue chip referring to what have traditionally been seen as maybe safer investments, bigger companies. It's the Financial Times Stock Exchange 100. So that's the, the FTSE 100. That's where FTSE comes from. It tracks the value of the 100 biggest companies listed on the London Stock Exchange. So big names such as the oil company, BP, uh, the bank, HSBC, retailers such as Tesco. So all these big companies that plenty of us are familiar with. People will use and trade the FTSE 100 as a way of gaining a broad exposure to large UK listed shares. So by buying or selling the FTSE, you're buying or selling a basket of large UK listed shares rather than an individual share. Plus, of course, like many stock market indices, it does move around a lot during the day. This is this volatility. So it's these sort of swings, which we'll look at in a few minutes time that appeals to traders looking to time their buys and sells over a much shorter time frame than longer term investors. So let's jump back onto the trading platform and look at some of these swings in a bit more detail. So let's take a look, for example, from, from December. The December 2018 lows in the FTSE were around about the 6,600 level. And then into April of 2019, the market had recovered not quite a thousand points, but you can see a significant move all the way back up to seven and a half thousand. So we have really big swings usually over medium term periods. Let's take a look at the shorter term view. So at the time of recording, this is uh, the last couple of days for the FTSE 100. So what we're looking at here, these are five minute candlesticks. So each candle represents five minutes worth of trading. And you can see the market, the index has traded as high as 73.70 and has been as low as uh, pretty much 72.70. So we've seen a hundred point range just over this relatively short term time period. And of course, traders normally love this sort of volatility. They're looking for swings in the market where they're looking to, to buy and hope the market rises, or of course, sell short, which you can do with capital.com using contracts for difference, which we'll talk about in a second to try and profit from markets falling. So with the FTSE, as with all the other markets we cover, you can trade this market in both directions and what appeals with the FTSE 100 as with these other stock market indices such as the Dow Jones, the DAX, the NASDAQ is the sort of volatility we can see on a day by day basis. So let's just take a quick look at how to trade the FTSE 100 with Capital.com. When you're trading with us, you're trading contracts for difference, CFDs, which is a term you may be familiar with on the FTSE, which we call the UK 100. You trade using leverage using CFDs, and there's more on our site about how leverage works. But, but the way it works, in effect, you're getting more bang for your buck. You put up uh, initial margin requirements. Let's say you put up £500, and you can end up using leverage, controlling a position much bigger than £500. So traders will use this to try and benefit from smaller short term movements in the market they're trading. But of course, the caution with this is that 
whilst leverage can magnify profits, it cuts both ways and you can end up with bigger than expected losses. So it's very important to use risk management tools such as stop losses. One of the big appeals of trading using contracts for different CFDs is you can trade markets in both directions. So traditionally, if you're an investor, you're looking for a market such as the FTSE 100 to rise. You're going to buy now and sell out at some point in the future. But if you had a negative view on the FTSE 100 index, you may think it's going to fall over the next couple of days. Using CFDs, you can sell short. So you can position yourself to profit from a market falling. You can trade in both directions. So as with all of these stock market indices, the DAX, the Dow, the NASDAQ and the FTSE, um, they're popular with traders because of the volatility. You know, we can normally see fairly decent moves over all sorts of time periods for these indices and the FTSE is no exception. You can trade it using contracts for difference, CFDs with us, capital.com. And that way you get to trade this market in both directions, whether you're positive or negative, you can position yourself to try and profit. Plus, of course, you have uh, the advantage of leverage. So you're getting more bang for your buck, but it's important to bear in mind that that does mean that losses can be more than your initial deposit. So it's really important to use uh, risk management tools such as stop losses. We'll wrap up this short video uh, on the FTSE 100, but to find out more about it, uh, go to our website, capital.com. You can open a demo account to try out different strategies. And when you're ready, open uh, a real account to trade the FTSE 100 with actual money. But for this uh, quick update in the market, we'll leave things there. So from me, David Jones and capital.com, good luck with your trading.